Hello all. In this video we shall see the ways of burning the hex file onto the target 80 mega 16 IC. To start with fire up the, your Atmel Studio 6. Click open project and select the blink LED one we have uh, created already. This is the small prog program to blink LEDs. If you want, you can uh, rebuild the solution. Click Build Rebuild Solution. Now the program is compiled. Build is succeeded. Now you click File and then Open again File. Or you can directly click Control O and you open the debug folder there you find the blink led dot hex this is the file we are going to burn on the target IC so note on this location note on this uh, location of the dot hex file this is the file we are going to feed it to the burner software so that this file is burnt on the target IC First we shall see the usage of avrpal.net Fire of avrpal.net It has got an easy to use graphical user interface and it uh, works on Win XP as well as Windows 7 .NET Framework 3.5 and USB ASP drivers are required for proper operation of this software Now you connect the USB ASP hardware to your PC and click on this black rectangle in the avrpal.net. Your target IC is uh, recognized now and displayed as uh, 80 mega 16. You can notice in this avrpal.net before you connect the USB ASB hardware, this programmer connected window there is no LED shown. As soon as you connect the USB ASB, here uh, a red LED glows in the programmer connected, and you can see a line drawn here. Also, the firmware full compatible, there is a green LED. Click on this uh, black uh, rectangle window. Your IC is recognized as 80 mega 16. Now go to select file, and click on this browse button. This is the hex file we created through At Atmel Studio 6. You select that file. Now this uh, big rectangle button gets enabled. This is the write to chip button. You click on this write to chip button. Your hex file is being written on the target IC. You can see in this command line window, the AVR dude is working in the background yes now we have your flash as uh, successfully returned this is what actually happens when you click the right to uh, write the per hex file you click on write to chip you can see the red LED glowing in the USB ASP indicating that the program is being loaded onto the target IC now the flash is written you can see the LED is glowing that is your program is working now now you can uh, read the flash memory of the AVR chip by clicking the uh, read button you can provide a, a name for your hex file. Click save to save a copy of your the flash memory. It takes some time to read the flash memory and store it in the file.
Now AVF flash is successfully read and stored in a file. AVRPAL.net also incorporates a fuse editor and fuse calculator. This is the fuse editor window. You can read the fuses by clicking on the read fuses button. Now the high fuse and low fuse bytes are uh, displayed. This is the default values D9 hex and E1 hex. If you want to edit these fuse bits, you click on editor. You land on the advanced fuse editor window. This is the 8 bits of H fuse and uh, 8 bits of uh, L fuse, low fuse. These are the check boxes. So if it is uh, no click means no click mark means it is one and not programmed. That is, it is disabled. And uh, tick mark means zero and it is enabled or programmed. You should be very careful in uh, selecting these fuse bits. After selection of fuse bits, you can provide a short name and save it for fuse, uh, future usage. At the right hand corner, there is a set slow SCK checkbox. By default, 80 mega 16 works with internal clock of 1 megahertz. So check this uh, set slow SCK box if you are working with the 80 mega 16 with default value of 1 megahertz clock. If you change the fuse bits for higher frequency operation, you can uncheck this uh, slow SCK. Now we shall see the extreme burner program. Fire up the extreme burner. It has got a nice uh, graphical interface and colorful buttons. To start with you have to do the settings. Under settings select the program mode, programming mode as ISP and then we have to select the chip as uh, 80 mega 16. At the bottom of the window you can see the CEO selection. Chip is 80 mega 16 and mode is uh, ISP. To load the hex file, click on this uh, big yellow button, open button, and browse to the hex file we created using Atmel Studio. Now the hex file is loaded successfully. There are three tags you can see flash, e square prom, and fuse bit settings. Under flash, you can see the hex file loaded with some data. To write this hex file onto the target IC, click the write all button. This, uh, this with a down arrow icon, click on this write all. The progress is shown on a separate window. You can see it is detecting the AVR chip automatically and then erasing the chip and finally writing it onto the flash memory. After writing it automatically verifies the flash memory. Now all tasks are completed successfully. You can close this window. Now the hex file is uh, successfully written on your target IC. To set the fuse bits, click on the fuse bit settings. And if you click read all, the default values of uh, low fuse bits and high fuse bits are shown in hex E1 and D9. These are the default uh, hex values. To change the fuse bits, click on bit details. Suppose you want to change any of the low fuse bits, you click on this bit details. A separate window opens for uh, 
fuse bit details. You can select any of the fuse bits and to change this just double click this. If you double click this then the status is changed. To avoid uh, confusion of check marks 1 and 0 they have provided a simple double click provision. Double click to change. Same way if you want to change the high fuse bits click on this bit details select any of the fuse bits and just double click to change you can finally write you click on this uh, write button to write the fuse changes fuse bit changes there is also a AVR clock configuration button here click on this configuration button suppose you want to use an external crystal of 8 megahertz click on this uh, external crystal ceramic resonator and frequency range generally we are using 8 megahertz for 80 mega 16 L select the frequency range and starter time you check the last one and oscillator option for greater than 1 megahertz you can select any of this oscillator option these are the fuse bits uh, that are going to be automatically changed according to the selection click this tick mark and then finally write You can also erase the chip by clicking on this chip erase button.